what is up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is liz and you're watching liz got here and i just got on here to play probably one of my all-time favorite games mass effect so we're gonna play the legendary edition which comes with all of the dlcs you have no idea how excited i am to play this game like this game marks a huge significant part of my life like this is the game that transitioned me from a girl to a woman okay this is the game right here now i did start playing this game later on in my life um i didn't pick this game up until sadly a couple years ago i want to say like five years ago my first ever mass effect game um was mass effect andromeda please don't hate me in the comments please um i don't know why but this andromeda was just the first uh, Mass Effect game that I played and I didn't think it was that bad until everybody and I mean everybody was telling me girl cut the crap and play Mass Effect the actual Mass Effect series and so I did I didn't finish Andromeda I played the Mass Effect series and then I went back to Andromeda and I was like this is not it <laughs> this is not it so here we go I have not picked this game up in about it's 2024 i want to say like three years so the only thing i remember is this handsome man right here like this handsome man like oh my gosh i cannot wait to see him i'm gonna probably scream so here we go without further ado let's press let's go ahead and press any key i put myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see i just wanted to do it for the intro so let's do it i'm so excited let's do it let's go let's go let's go one thing i do remember about this game well a couple things i remember about this game are a few of the missions that I absolutely hated. Like, I absolutely hated. What am I doing here? Sorry guys, I was having a little bit of a difficulty there, but let's go ahead and start new career. This is so exciting Welcome to me. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So of course, we're gonna be Jane. Actually, and manually enter career and phone physical stats. I am gonna do... I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I never liked her face. So I'm gonna enter new ID. Uh, custom female, yes. We're gonna be female. No. Please log in to access your What's going to be her name? I'm going to be her uh, Liz. I mean, of course. Why not? <laughs> I love this game so much. Warning. Data corruption detected. Uh -oh. Please reconstruct profile. Let's do it. Confirm pre-service history. So, I think last time I was a spacer but does it matter do you get like different um dialogue options if you're no i think i was earthborn um you were 16 slavers raided under slaughtering your family and friends you were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later i kind of like that do we know anything about shepherd's family I'm gonna do colonist. Psychological profile. Soul survivor. Am I gonna un unleash my um, inner fellow New Vegas? Early in the military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. Um. What do I want? What do I want? I mean, I feel like Soul Survivor was like, it makes sense, you know, it just makes sense. Confirm military specialization. This is the part that like, I don't even know. I love to shoot things. I love shooting things. Um, I know that you can level up. Oh man, soldier. Um, they are more efficient at tech and com tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no no. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium. Okay, 
Yes, this is what Confirm I want. Confirm facial identification. No, we're definitely changing that appearance, girlfriend. Um. I think I was her last time. The one that we just passed. Um. I kind of like that facial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. All right. <laughs> this is so fun. I love this so much. Um, I like the eye shape, but um, let's change the iris color. I've always loved to have like light eyes on my characters. I don't even know why. I think it's just because I have caca brown eyes. <laughs> um, I think she looks okay jaw mouth lip size yeah girl pucker those lips girl pucker those lips um the nose let's put it up actually i like the nose i don't want it to be on that nose i'm sorry uh mouth I do like that lip size. I'm just trying to get to like where my lips are. <laughs> this is me guys. Like I am not even here anymore. I'm in this game. M mouth with, nah, she's good. She's good. Awesome. Okay, so hair. Girl, let's change that hair because I cannot. Um. Should we do red? We should do red. Okay, let's go. I know that like, <clears throat> that's always been my hair of choice. But let's see if there's anything else that like, you know? I know like these games suck when it comes to like female customization. Like, like this is the best that you guys can do. And Dragon Age, oh my gosh. Which makes me even more excited for Dragon Age Veilguard because I know that they uh, they added more hairstyles. So we're gonna go with our typical hair like that. Um, I Do I like the brows? They're okay. Um, I like that. I don't know. It kind of like, you know, you assert dominance. <laughs> um, the makeup is okay. The lip color. I don't want to look like I have cracked lips. We're not doing that. We're not going to, we're not going to do her dirty like that. Um, that's fine. Yeah. I like that. Cool. What do you mean by code? What is this? Profile reconstruction. All right, she's good. Complete. Lish. <laughs> you can tell I'm having so much fun with this. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be unable to change any settings. That's good. I'm fine. Identification confirmed. Combat level normal. Auto level up off. Yeah. Level scaling. What does that mean? No, legendary mode. We're gonna do legendary mode because we're gonna go up to 60. Oh, 30. Squad power usage. Determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. Defensive. Can we use all? I think I like all. On. Auto save on. Enable tutorials. No. We know how to play this game. Even though it's been like four years, we know how to play this game. <laughs> um. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on. All right, so let's do it. I'm excited. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. There it is. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. 
Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Mass Effect, right? Iconic. Iconic. I love this game so much. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Look how different the Normandy looked in the first one compared to the third one. Although I know that like things happen in between. Calculating transit mass and destination. Ah, I've always Relay wanted to be like her. She's so vector. badass. All stations secure for transit. And we love Joker. We do love Joker. Look how gorgeous she is. She's gorgeous. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Mm. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Do I agree with that? I'm going to just be neutral. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Mm-hmm. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right, here we go, guys. Press escape and open the journal to view your updated mission objectives. Okay, so I, maybe I do need a tutorial because I'm playing on PC and not Xbox. Um, so journal. You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, executive officer on the SSV Normandy. I love that about ourselves. Um, Mark viewed, uh, okay. So the one thing I absolutely hated about this game, the first game in particular, is that there's no map. Like there was so many times where I was running around aimlessly, like, what am I doing? Um, oh, that's another thing. So do we want to go Paragon or Renegade? I just cannot, like there were some times where I'm like, I'm going to do the Renegade option because there's no way. Like I am not, there's no way. But then like, when it comes to using the renegade option with somebody I love and they really care about, I don't know. Um, so assault training, we have three points. So I'm going to put one point here. No, why not? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's take that out. Undo. Um, 
let's do one pistol too and then let's do mm, let's do a personality trait um why would we use charm it's like a part of me is like oh i want to be badass but then like i get the option to be badass and i hate it <laughs> um Let's do charm friend. Yeah, that's fine. Um, the codex background profile for Commander Shepard. You were raised in Mindor on the fringes of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, the colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. A passing alliance patrol rescue you. Yes, we know that. You enlisted with the Alliance military, eventually volunteering to go to Akuze, a colony that had mysteriously dropped out of contact. As soon as it arrived on the surface, your patrol was attacked by Thresher Maws. I hate those things, man. Mindless abomination. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that you have to drive that car and the planets. Oh. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> um... As soon as it arrived on the surface, your patrol was attacked by Thresher Maws. Mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth, constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Gosh, 50 Marines died on Akuze. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive, a monument on the planet commemorates the massacre a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread through the stars that is something you know i never really took the time to read all of these because i'm like whatever let me just play this game but it's really good information um 2069 Armstrong on post uh, first human settlement on Luna is Luna moon is that the moon um so this is just a timeline of the things that have transpired so I was born in 2154 wow Turians encounter human explorers first contact were war occupation and liberation of the human colony of Shangxi. So not long after I was born, Turians and humans started working together. Humans learn potential of biotics as international efforts to track element zero exposures. That's awesome. Roughly 10% of exposed children so show some level of biological ability. Is that the story of Jack? Yeah, and Miranda, which we don't meet until the second game. Spoiler alert, Systems Alliance Parliament formed humans established embassy on the Citadel. Cool. Batarian slavers attacked the Alliance colony of Mindor. Yes, pirates and slavers attacked. Let's see, yeah, Thresher Malls devour. Yeah, so not long. So I was what 2154. I was 23 when that happened. No, yeah, 23. In retaliation of this current date, so 2183, and I was born in 2154. So I am 29 years old. Wow. Right? Is that right? 2154, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I'm 29. Interesting. I am turning 29. My actual um, birthday. Anyways, so let's get on to it. I just wanted to take some time to read that. You guys can skip over that if you want. Um, Cool. I'm so excited. Let's talk to Joe. Oh, wait, we can't. So, okay. I know that they there's no jump. They didn't introduce the jump feature until the third game. So until the third game, there's no jump. How do I talk? I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about. Okay, I need to know. 
the controller. It's a gameplay controls. Okay. Key bindings. Okay. Toggle. Use sprint. Space bar. Equipment. I. Quick save. F five. F five. Awesome. Shoot a melee throw grenade. Holster weapon. H. Okay. That's what I need. Okay, so space bar. Congratulations, so, so Commander. To Looks like we had a smooth you run. Talk. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. He like is nonstop talking about this Nihilus guy. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. And we love him. We are Team mountains. Anderson. A life size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. Ah, in so it's not even My about Nihilus. It's about Turians. My grandfather fought in lost a lot of Turians. friends when the Turians hit us. Mm. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I don't trust Nihilus. You know, he hasn't really done anything. Yeah, I just don't really touch, trust Turians. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding. We love Corporal. Dr. Chuckless. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. 
Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Mm. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, what a freaking I didn't mean loser. to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. I never Let's really... not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? I never really took the time to delve deep into our past. So I'm just taking advantage of right now because, you know, I would play the game and perhaps it was my fault. I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on. The captain's waiting for me. So Goodbye, come on. whenever they would talk about different things, I'll be like, what are you guys talking about? What is this? Like, I don't even know what that means. But it's because I never really took the time to figure it out. So, um, so now I'm like just taking the time to figure everything out because I want to know. So I didn't know that. So like the Turians were pretty much like how humans are with each other, like in like America, like the earth, I guess. So Tyrians were, I want to say the government law officials and then humans come and then like we clash with each other because we're kind of like very similar in, um, personality and wants so that's probably why Tyrians are like uh, no so let's go uh, let's go do this let's talk to Nihilus and, and the captain commander Shepard I was hoping you'd get here first it will give us a chance to talk the captain said he'd meet me here he's on his way I'm interested in this world we're going to Eden Prime I've heard it's quite beautiful so what <laughs> I've never been there but you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Right? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? Yeah, for real. You humans don't have the best reputation. Yeah. Some species see you as selfish. Yeah. Too unpredictable. Uh, you right, though. He right. He right. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Okay. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Okay. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. Okay. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Great, so they're considering Not us a Spectre. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? 
Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like that. I respect that. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. So let's do it. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Hmm. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Low key. What else do we want to know? We know about the Protheans, Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Seems pretty important. All right, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. There's What's always wrong, a problem. Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Time. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. How does he know? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet we us know in the what cargo those are. Ah, oh, man. Here we go. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Here we go. I'm not telling y'all what that is. You'll find out. All right, let's do this. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Okay, sir. Okay. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! 
We are approaching drop point two. I don't remember a lot from what happens with Nihilus, but let's go. We got who? We got Caden and we got Richard. Smells like smoke and death. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Left mouse button to fire. Sustain fire. Use right mouse button to draw your weapon. H to put it away. Ooh. Amy increase. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, there's no jump. I keep forgetting. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Are they? All right, let's go this way. You know, when I first started playing the first game, I was oh so confused. Hold left shift to switch weapons with your, for your squad. Left shift. You're gonna use this. Come on, Kaden, get it, keep it together. I love this game so much. I cannot stop saying it. Oh, here we go. What the heck? Oh, we lost him. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. <laughs> Our pal just died, but I still need you to stay focused. Medi gels needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass description of electronic challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press V to use your medigel. Ooh. The hell is that? Boom. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Press escape to Come access on. squad screen. Um Restores 40 health for all wounded. Yes, let's do that. And then let's do... Barrier. Awesome. And then Liz? Anything for Liz? No. Cool. The bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Use left shift to issue orders. over there. I don't see it. Where he at? Because the last thing you're gonna do is get to me. Ooh, thingies. Medical kit. Medi jail. Gosh, look at all these bodies on the floor. And there's Ashley. I don't like Ashley, I'm sorry. And if you think, I'm getting ahead of myself. 
We love them, but we hate them at the same time. Just these. Um, we should probably switch to a shotgun. Oh my gosh. Hey girl, hey, what's up? How you doing? Um. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. Yeah. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol. Until the Geth hit us. Until we the Fire Nation attacked. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Why is... Luckily, he's on our side. Hayden is... Sorry, like I said, no Turians. Kaden wasn't holding a gun in that cutscene. Did you see that? <laughs> Kaden, what are you doing? So she hasn't seen Nihilus already. It's a red flag. That is a Move red up. flag. That is a red flag. Press escape to go to the squad room. I don't want to spend nothing on actually. <laughs> at the far end of this trench. Yes. Take all. Hello. Um <laughs> My bad. Damage protection. Ooh, yeah, let's put that on. I don't care about this. <gasps> I don't care. All right, let's go. Is are we going the right way? Yeah, we are. Can she move any faster? The gas bags are so cute. Like, is that me? Is that just me? I think they're so adorable. They're just floating around, bumping into each other. So adorable. If I'm not going the right way, I'm gonna be so mad. I think I am. So they had, so she hasn't seen Nihilus. Anybody else think that's a red flag? Because I do. We're not gonna comment on that? No comment? All right, let's go up. My arm itches. Wait a second. I wasn't going the right way. Oh my gosh, I just wasted so much time. No wonder I had no comment. That's our, oh my gosh, Did I really go backwards? I went backwards, oh my gosh. Girl, get it together. 
you know the thing is that when they do a cutscene they end the cutscene behind you so you think whatever's behind you is going forward right idiots what happens if you touch the gas bag like what do they do like what happens can i like run by it oh i guess nothing okay so this is where we stop that this is it No wonder there was no action. Like, there's, there has to be some action. So, okay. Yes. Let's keep our guns out because we're gonna need it. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rocks. Hold right mouse to lean out and aim. I don't see nobody there. Approach a low object will make you crouch and cover behind it. Press left control. You okay, Cadence? That man was still alive when they stopped him with the spike. Killing us isn't enough. The gas was. I said I could run. What's the key bindings? Where's the run? Run sprint spacebar. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is spacebar. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Up the ramps. You see? It like takes you like ramps. behind. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't know. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that, sir. Like, where have you been, Nihilus? No one has seen you, Nihilus. Where have you been, Nihilus? Let's hurry up and, uh... Ooh, we got... Ooh. And then we also do this. And then we're also gonna do this. No, whatever. Kaden, let's do this. And then... This, and then this. Ashley, just here. Just, just take it. Just take it. All right. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Gosh. Keep guard up. Oh, I hate those things. Oh, I God. hate those lot. things so bad. What did the Geth do to them? Gosh, I hate them so bad. Come here. Stupid. I should have did the, the, um, you know, the shotgun. We thought this world was safe. The gas showed up. 
until the Fire Nation attacks. What is that mark? That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Some locked optics require a description. Sure, let's do it. I see. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Oh. Okay. Can I try again? But there's people in there. Oh my gosh. But what am I supposed to do? Let's uh, see what we got. The Avenger 2. Hurricane 2. We still got this one. Oh, let's equip it anyway. Okay, cool. Kaden, what you got? Let's give you this. All right. Oh, I remember this. Saren. Nihilus. No, that's Ultron. I always thought he was like Ultron. This isn't your mission, Ultron. Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <laughs> no. no. Oh. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. What? Oh, hell no. Where's Kaden? Kaden, get up! What do you mean? Kaden, get up! <laughs> oh my gosh. Get up, Kaden. I don't got time for you. Get up! Is he gonna get up? Is kidding? Not the middle of a fight. Is Kid is kidding gonna get up? I hope he does. Come on. 
Where are you at, Kaden? Kaden, you're so stupid. <laughs> All right, let's investigate Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Dang. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind yeah. the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. Nice. You survived because you're lazy? You make me sick. Well, I mean, it saved his life. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... And it was making this noise. This... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. All right, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, 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 I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, go back to your nap. All right. It smells like smoke. I'm gonna die. Is he still there? Oh, he died. He did. Where are the others? Um, I wasn't done like trying to loop this place a little bit. What? Duty calls. Um, man, I kind of want to go back to that area to see if I have more descriptions. I want to save those people. It's just that thing was really hard and I didn't even understand it when I was playing it, so. Um, should we go back? I just want to see if I can. Actually, let me see. Oh. Mm. I know you guys want to like kill those guys, but I want to go back for a second, just for a second. I want to see if I can open that door. It's probably Caden left behind there. Okay, let's see if I can open that door. If I can't, then... Ay, se jodieron. Insufficient on the gel. Vamos a ver. Ay, no lo puedo abrir. No puedo abrir la puerta. Damn it. Make I win now. Whatever, let's just keep going. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not able to rescue you. I'm a bad person. I didn't know how to play that stupid game. It's not like it's like the, the lockpick mechanic. Like in, um, oh, that's a door over there. I want to go in. 
like in Fallout. Is that door open? Can I go in there? Yes. Easy decryption. Oh, but I can decrypt here, but not over there. Okay, I'm gonna save right here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try. Should I load? I'm gonna load back. Load game. Let's do it again. Yes! Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go. <laughs> Goodbye. Go. We're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But we'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that can mm -hmm. help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. I was gonna sell it after this was over. Like, what is it? Probably deserve it Give it to me. I, I want it. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Um... He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. <laughs> Didn't we just talk to him? Good luck. Electronics go too slow. Whack. All right, let's go. I think that was the first time I saved those people and slash thought like saw that there was people there. <laughs> I think the other time I didn't think there were actual people there, so I didn't even bother. So I'm glad I did this time. All right, let's continue on. Hold left shift to bring up the power wheel. I know. Okay. Mm. Let's do this. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Gosh, what is the going on? What is the dealio? Where are my people? Oh. Where's Ashley? Ashley, where are you? Where is this girl? Whatever. I don't care. 
she's worthless to me anyways. Worthless! <laughs> Come on. And then this Geth Trooper out here scared us all hell. Headshot. I love this game so much. It like overheats and stuff. Ashley, where are you? Where is Ashley? Where's she at? Ashley, do they just kind of like do whatever they want? Oh my god, are you serious? Whatever. I'm not gonna be out here looking for your girlfriend. Should we go get her? We should probably go get her. Let's go get her. Like, what are you doing? You know, you have one job, and that job is to stay by me. The thing about the running mechanic is that, like, you can't really control a lot of where they're going. So when they run, it's like, they just kind of go everywhere. Girl, where, why are you still? Oh my gosh. We're just a small farming colony. Why did they attack us? We thought this one was safe until the gas shut up. There you go. She was like stuck. That's why. Girl. All right. Let's continue. Where are we? Oh, we have to go upstairs. So for you guys who have played this game, what's your favorite part? I love this game so much. I think like I honestly believe they don't make games like this anymore this game really showed the value of partnership and they delve deep into these characters like they really did put a lot of um, a lot of thought into these characters and their backstories and character development. I love it so much. It's almost like wa a little bit similar to watching like your favorite TV series where like the character development is just so big. Like Avatar, The Last Airbender. Like, I love it so much. All right, there's this freaking bolon. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here.
Let's do this. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yes, I know that. Thank you. Do you want to help me or what? Let's save right here. Like, this gun is good, but it's not at the same time. Like, dang. What's over here? Nada. Um. We have like literally Oh my gosh Let me hit him Alright, let's go Oh wait We have one here But first let me open the screen <laughs> Take off, alright Could I have not done that what, like during combat? Is that why I, would, I couldn't do that? Oh, there's one guy over here. Yes. We got two more. After this one, we got one more. One more over here. Awesome. Perfect. We did it. Where are they firing at? Okay, so we gotta go. Girl, get out. That's a bad thing about like auto um auto shielding. They just shield like right there. It's so annoying. Okay, I remember this is the part where I like died so Oh my god, here they come those freaking bobolones. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, this requires. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're Gucci. We can touch the beacon. Let's touch that beacon. First, let's go through this crate. Ooh, we should probably um, level up. Let's see what we got. No. 136? Equip that shit. Um, equip. Yes. And then... Now we good. Ashley, what do you got? I don't like you, actually. <laughs> Kaden, what you got? Here, have the edge. No. Ooh. I don't even know what all these things do, but I'm going to put them on there anyways. Oh, 
I don't care about you, Kaden. Or Ashley. I don't care about you. And then assault rifle. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, all right, all right. Let's do the fun part. Fun part. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. It's Something like what? Must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Kaden? the game starts oh man <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I love her. The matriarch. Oh my gosh. She's just like, whatever. <laughs> Little crybaby. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. Why? What happened? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Um, what happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned. That to was know. a mistake. As much as I want to say that, when I'm going is to. a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? 
I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. And we got nothing to hide. All right, to hell with them. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. You tell him. You tell him. I'll stand behind <laughs> you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. Mm -hmm. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. I love the detail of, like, the skin of Captain Anderson. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot That's of what we do. That That's what Most we do. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <sighs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream. Right, come on, think about it. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. So? He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. You heard the man. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our first ever episode of Mass Effect. Thank you guys so much for following along, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that first ever episode. I'm excited to continue on this series. This is one of my favorite games, so I know I'm going to have an amazing time doing this series and having you guys watch. So if you guys like that video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Bye.